Hi, the ho everyone. My name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome to Subnautica. It's a game been heavily requested by a lot of people for a while, but recently I asked some of the sponsors here on YouTube, and it seemed like a lot of people wanted to see Subnautica, so I said, you know what? Screw it. Let's finally do a video. Now, I do have some time on this game. I played on my own for a few hours, so I, I mean, that was a couple months ago. So I kind of have a gist of what I'm doing. So we'll play on survival. We get a whole little backstory and thing. Press any button to continue. Oof. Spoilers, by the way. <sighs> Two, one. You bet what's going on? I'll explain it in a second. First up, big explosions. Everybody loves that. Great start to a Michael Bay video game. Lost the fire extinguisher. Other things. But it's a good thing I'm strapped in. Remember, kids. Click it or tick it. Always wear your seatbelt. <laughs> ah, yes. When in doubt, mash it out. Oh, right. Oh, oh shoot. Right, right, right. I'm starting now. Let me pick up this fire extinguisher. Hey! Put it out! <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Um, mysterious text. Ow! What do you mean I'm on fire? What the heck? Oh, where did that come from? I thought I... There we go. Ooh. Sorry. That fall really just messed up everything in the stomach. You know, everything's kind of jumbled right now. I, uh, I work for Altera. They're like Skynet. Great, great guys. Great guys, it's great. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Well, oop, that's not one. Press open to close or beautiful. One, two, three, four, five to select corresponding quick slots. So, survival game, as you'd expect. I will say this, if you've, you've been hesitant or you, you have, you wanted to play Subnautica but you hadn't committed, I would say do it. It's really fun. I'm gonna see what all I remember because it's been a little while. Um, but here's the fabricator. This is where you get crafting, and right now I don't have any recipes because I just haven't collected stuff. But you got basic materials, electronics, water, but see... Oh, oh, no, 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 You can see most of them then. Never mind. Yeah, you just build out of here. So, one I really like is the sea glide. Helps you, helps you go faster. You get equipment like a standard O2 tank. Uh, you can increase how long you can be underground. You can swim faster. All those kind of things. You need water, because as you can see here, I have health. Hunger and thirst. Uh, here is a medical fit. Medical fit. Medical kit fabricator. So if we pick that up. This actually, I think, makes a medical kit every now and then. Yeah, see, like it's at 1%. Now, uh, damaged radio. I have to craft a repair tool to, to fix that, and then that helps progress the story. So that's where you go from there. Um, again, I chose story mode. There's like, um, you know, free roam like fun you don't have to worry about survival things that kind of stuff there's our energy and we have a storage container which has flare water and nutrient block so i'm actually just going to swap over one water and one nutrient block uh for, god i'm just i have to remember that it's tab uh for now and then you're like well what the heck do we do now well let me show you first off never mind whatever that is It's the... I forgot what... Whoa, what's that over there? Oh, the Aurora. Severed orbital hull failure caused unknown zero in human life signs detected. That's right. I'm all that left. That That is left, or at least I think. Um, You can see out there, there's those like mirage clouds. So I'm pretty sure if you go far enough, there's like creepy alien islands out there. Spoilers, I suppose. But I've been there. This game, I'm going to be honest, kind of terrifies me. Um, because I, I believe it's called like the lassophobia or something like that. Fear of open water. I have that times a hundred. I cannot do it. Like if I'm in, if I'm in a little diving pool, right. And I can't see the other end of the pool. I'm freaking out. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I, I can't rationally describe what I think is going to kill me, but you, well, I, I just have that kind of fear. You know what I'm saying? Um, I should have honestly looked, oh, right, right, right. Uh, so what do I need to make standard? I need three titanium. And I get that by... Find God, I'm going to keep pressing escape. All right, so you can see our O2. Not optimal. 
But, uh, this is- oh, and I should probably get a, uh, hunting knife. Yeah, that's pretty important, too. Let's see. Um, so, that- that's the two things I would say to get, uh, pretty much as soon as you can. We need silicone, rubber, and titanium. Alright, those aren't too hard to come by. So, it's not procedurally generated, um, unlike what I had originally thought. Um, so if I just, uh, I don't even- yeah, I can't even pull that stuff. So for now, you can't hit stuff until you have your knife. Once you have your knife, you can hit things, gather resources, and all that kind of stuff. I believe this is titanium. It's scrap metal, but I believe the metal salvage... Well, I actually don't remember what it gives us. But I do know that it's pretty important. And silicone rubber. You get... Oh, uh, you hear that thing. <laughs> Pick that up, yeah! Pick up some of these things. So, um... I forget which fish it is. Maybe it's the one I have right now. No, I don't- I think it's that. Yeah! Bladderfish. Pretty sure you can use those as water resources as well. I'm just holding this little fish. Poor thing, it's like, Uh, who are you and can you put me down? No, I'm afraid I can't. Those guys are cool. As long as you don't get too near them. Then they get a little spooked. Understandably so. We have... Grav Trap Fragment, but you need a scanner. In order to, uh, look at that stuff, but then you can get, like, blueprints and stuff. Um, G. Wilkers. Break limestone! Oh, see, it's already telling me what to do. Break that, just, copper yep, cop that. Uh, copper is an essential component, at least on this life, or this planet. Unlikely, but plausible. I'll take that. See, I need to find some titanium real quick, though, because I, I hate having to resurface so often. Um, but again, I'm, I don't remember if metal scraps are what we need. I feel like we might, just like we did with the limestone, you beat a rock a few times and <laughs> beat it. <laughs> nice one, me. Real clever. Okay, so if I go to these things, and those right there, those glowy seeds, I believe, give us the rubber. Could be mistaken. But, um, oh, that's, that's a seed cluster. Oh, wait, shoot. <laughs> Get up! Oh my god, I'm, I'm almost about to die already. Swim to surface. What do you think I'm trying to do? Oh my god, don't tell me I'm about to die. <sighs> wow, that was close. Um, silicone rubber, I thought... Let me see here. Um, you know, I, I don't remember if that's what I have to use. Uh, un undecided. Metal salvage. Oh, composed primarily of titanium. Beautiful. So see, it honestly took me a little while. I think I had to look up guides originally when I was first like, how, how do I just like survive on the outset? And this is how you do it. So right now, you know, my fear of water isn't bad, but like then you look over there and like, oh, I should get the heebie-jeebies, you know? Like, ugh, like goosebumps, man. I know it's not rational, but I can't help it. Okay, so let's use the fabricator. And we can go to resources here. Ah, oh, see it is, that is silicone rubber. It's a beautiful. We uh, exchange those pods, whatever, for rubber. And then we get titanium from the scraps that we had. And we can do this a few times, you get four for each metal fragment. So, uh, we're, we're in other words, we're gonna be eaten. I mean, like, not physically. Although, we could also be eaten. Oh, fudge, I just met a ingot, which I didn't want to make. That just wasted a whole bunch of titanium. Um, that's my bad. Can I still... Alright, so we're gonna make a standard O2 tank. And then let's see if we have enough to make the knife. Uh... We do! So we make the survival knife. And those are your basic. That's what you want to get first, right? Uh, air bladder. Emergency... Yeah, I don't really need that. We get pipes and a floating air pump again. We don't need those now. We can cook some things. Um, let's cook the boomerang. It's obviously much better when you cook them, rather than eating them raw. You want to make sure... I mean, early on, you have to combat the survival components, right? Like, drinking, eating. But once you get going, right, it's it's a lot easier. But see, we can make filtered water with the bladder fish. Super convenient. I think it's like the easiest way to do it, honestly, too. Um, so we could make cured, which uh, makes it even better. However, you need salt for that, which we don't have. So now, we come over here. Uh, we have a standard O2 tank. No, I want to equip that, which is great. Equip my survival knife. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and consume one of these filtered waters. Bop. I'll even eat some of this. 
So that, uh, leave that. And just like that, we're pretty much good to go into the wild yet again. Except this time, I'ma mess you up. Mm, 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 yeah, mm. And that's important, because now I can get new resources by using my knife. I'll show you in a second. Also, don't ask how... There's like, there's some things where like... You open doors to water and water doesn't come in when water probably should. Um, but this game is beautiful. You can already see... At nighttime, it gets, it gets dark, which uh, I forgot about. Well, I mean, I didn't forget that it gets dark at night. But I forgot that's a problem. We need battery and glass. Oh, jeez. How do we do that again? Battery, we need acid mushrooms. Easy. And glass is quartz. Quartz, 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 quartz. Okay, so for that thing we just saw, I'm pretty sure I just picked that up. And, like, now we can make a battery, if I'm not mistaken. Perfect, but now I need to find quartz. Should go ahead and uh, just fill her up on the O2. Pretty sure you mainly find quartz in little tunnels, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see. That looks like, well, that's limestone. And it just had titanium. De oh, sulfur deposits. That's what you mainly find. Oh, wait, we need the acid mushrooms. Herp to derp. Not what I was doing. Oh, there's quartz, though. Hey. And there's another one. All right, see, now we can go make ourselves flashlight real quick. I also get a little claustrophobic down here. Can you imagine getting stuck in some tunnel with, like, barely any oxygen? Oof. <laughs> getting the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. And those things look creepy in the dark. Yeah. But at least they're easy to see, right? Detecting increased local radiation levels. Yeah, so the ship is like emitting <laughs> radiation stuff, and I guess that's a bad thing. Go figure. So, as far as the story, I progress decently in the story. Um, I, d I don't want to spoil anything for those that want to play. But, um, yeah, it's not, it's, uh, it's fun. It is, it is. I really like it. Really accessible. Let's uh, make this battery of ours, which will then allow us to make, well, filtered water first. New blend, blueprint synthesized, a power cell. So we can now make a high capacity O2 tank. We would need silver ore, but silver ore is a little harder to come by. So we're looking for, aha. So we could get a scanner, but for the sake of this video, since uh, we're not doing a full playthrough, I don't need the scanner yet. But again, you want to use scanner to get blueprints. Like if you find parts and you scan enough parts that you find, you'll then be able to make it. Um, it's especially helpful for building your house. So, or base, whatever you want to call it. So that's a big part of the game too. Once you become self-sufficient, you then just make your own base. And it's, uh, that's, that's, don't put it in my eye, bro. What are you doing? It's a flashlight. What'd you expect to happen? Yo, come here. Yo, come here. No, 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 no. Don't run away. Is it the flashlight? I bet it gave it away, but I still got you. Come here. So, sorry, sorry. See, he like inks a little bit or something. It's kind of growth when you really think about it. Like, what's he doing over there? Yeah, see, hee <laughs> hee. I want to leave him alone. Come here, bladderfish. Ha ha. Usually those are harder to catch. They're a little faster, which is why you want the sea glider, I believe. And essentially it's just a little machine. You know, it helps you, it helps you swim faster. And by helps you swim faster, I mean it does all the work for you. And I forget which direction we want to go. So until you progress farther in the story, where's the Aurora? Yeah, once you get too close to the Aurora, it'll be like, danger, danger, you're going to die of cancer. And you're like, all right, I guess I won't. But in the meantime, you just keep going about your business. Your business. And oh, I'll tell you what, there's this thing called, I think, Ghost Leviathans or something. I freaking poop myself when I came across one. Giant, scary... They'll destroy you, like, oh my god. Well, the problem was, I was looking for the Mirage Island, but I didn't realize I was way off course. And so I was, like, at the boundary of the map. And so what happens when you, you get to the edge of the map is they start spawning Ghost Leviathans. I had, like, three Ghost Leviathans on me. Poop myself. I'm like, ah, they just came out of nowhere, and they make this creepy freaking sound. And that's when I'm like, yeah, no. That's when I'm, like, straight monk ass on this game, you know what I'm saying? Um... I forget where I'm supposed to head. I thought this way had core that the, more that coral, and honestly, I forget. I 
once you have a knife and propane tank and stuff like it like honestly it's, it's now it's just like hey do what you want what you want with your body do what you want what you want with your body what you want with your body so normally you get like more equipment so like i should probably go get uh some rubber to get better fins um habitat builder is how you make your base uh repair tool barely comes in handy so here's a sea glide so see i have to research or scan for the sea glide and then once you get the sea glide like you just wonder how did i ever live without it kind of thing and uh, it's so freaking dark i thought there were vine stuff over here but i guess i'm just freaking lost bro what is that though looks like there's a lot of stuff on that floating is that just straight up a floating rock well, I reckon it is. What are these things? I actually have no idea what these are. Pick up floater? What the heck are floaters? Fish, I assume? Composed of multiple organisms in symbiosis. Life cycle unknown. Alright, well those seem useless. For now, at least. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some of this metal scrap. Because titanium makes the world go round, as you'll eventually find out. Look at all this salvage. And this is all, obviously. From the Aurora crash, thanks Aurora. But the game's very atmospheric. I like the vibe going on. And again, it it's tough to it, it helps me um, you know, overcome my fear of deep water. Not really. Um, like sometimes if I know I have to go far out, like I just like kind of close my eyes and I just sea glide to the waypoint kind of thing. It's spoopy, man. I, like, I don't know why I have such a fear of it. Like, honestly, if, like, my ship wrecked and I was stuck waiting op open water in the ocean, I'd probably just, like, find a way to commit. Because I'm like, this is, I can't do this. Psychologically, I would die anyway. So, um, where are these freaking vines, man? Is this one? Oh, uh, well, they're back here. Right, right, right. But I thought there was other way. Ah, uh, who knows? I don't know the layout of the land too well. But when you get the radio back up, you'll get like, you know, to be like, hey, well, we detected the life pod over here, or this and that. Then you can go and do those things, if you want. And I wonder why. Cut creep vine with knife. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. see. I think. Oh, inventory full. Oh, what the heck? Uh, let's drop a few things. Let's drop that and that. Ow. Ow! Who? Who just... Who hit me? Huh? Who was that? What was that? Exactly. I don't know. Um... Can I, can I take one more sample? I just want one more. I'm not asking for a lot. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Perfect! So, once I get these flippers... We're gonna be like My Little Mermaid. Just going throughout the ocean. Doing whatever the fudge I want to do. But this is like my beginner's guide to Subnautica. This is what I would probably suggest you do first. And then from there, do what you want. Do you want to play this story mission? Do you want to do this or that? Do you just want to make a home? Do you want to, you know, just explore the ocean? You can do any and or all of the above. Did I need to make those fiber meshes? I believe I did. Wait, I didn't want... Oh, I didn't want fiber mesh. Right, that's different. I need silicone. Fudge. All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. We're gonna have to go back out there to get some more creep vine. Well, like the bladder thing, you know, the, the sack. Yes, I know, I know. Um, Pathfinder tool. Deploys holographic Pathfinder discs used to map a way back out of caves. Did I use those? I don't actually remember. Pretty sure I used those. Well, I'm sure they're helpful, <laughs> is the moral of the story here. Um, Waterproof locker, so this is cool. This is what you need, especially early on. You have too much stuff. Throw a locker, like, right outside of here. Or even wherever you are if you don't have enough uh, space. So that way you can keep exploring there and then make trips or do whatever you have to do. Um, but obviously when you make a base, you can just make locker rooms and stuff. And that is, as you can imagine, way more useful and practical. But we're just lowly plebs who have landed on this strange world, and all I have is this AI to speak with. It only speaks with me intermittently. We have a lot of titanium. Dare I say too much. 
So let's open the storage container. Let's store a lot of this, I guess. We don't need all that. Uh, we certainly don't need titanium ingot. Or this. So this is just kind of like, you know, when we go out, we don't need this to survive kind of thing. Uh, I am going to consume that, though. And I'll consume that. Got to keep, keep ourselves healthy. And my god, I'm going to get myself some freaking flippers. Even if it's the last thing I do. Come here, bladderfish. Thank you. Oh, the more water, the better. You know what they say? Isn't it like you can survive two weeks before dying only drinking water, right? As long as you have water. Something like that. Something crazy. You wouldn't think you could. And obviously your energy would drain and stuff. But if you ever get stuck in the middle of wilderness. See, here's my strategy. If I never go outside, then there's no dangers, right? You know, I... I can't get lost in the forest if I never go to one. It's not the right mentality to have. Oh, no, 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 no. Back. You found deep. Oh, my God. I actually hit him. Yeah, that's right. Go and tell your friends. So the stalkers will attack you, as you can tell. They won't always. But another thing, too, is when if they, like, they'll claim a metal fragment. You're coming back for seconds, huh? You didn't even get a bite the first- yeah, that's right. Stay over there. Just keel over and die. Nobody will miss you. Nobody. Oh, jeez, he's still coming. Anyway, yeah, some of those metal fragments, like, that's theirs. And so if you take it, they'll get pissed and attack you. Um, but, you know, those rascals. So let's make some rubber. Ooh, I could have made... I don't remember what that is. Lubricant. I don't remember what that's for. But, I do know we can make some fins. Hallelujah. Finally. Fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Yeah, it's probably for the best. So handy dandy, you know what I mean? It's just like, hey, we know you're about to die. Is essential in construction of vehicles, vehicles and power plants. Power plants. Ah, well, too bad that's not helpful at all here. But, now that we have our little flippers. Enhance swim speed by approximately 15%. Now, that doesn't sound amazing, but it is, okay? It's worth it. I actually don't think I've ever used those slots. You do you do get, like, a radiation suit, though, from somewhere that you can wear, and it allows you to go deeper into the reaches of radiation. But look at us. We're, we're practically zooming at this point. You know what I mean? They can't keep up with us. Now, against my better judgment... Since we'll draw the video to a close in a little bit here, I want to show you guys a little bit more. A little bit more of what there is to offer. The first time I did this, just... <laughs> now, I will say, it got a little bit better. That actually tickled my mouth so much. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of like when you stick... I, this is going to sound weird. But when you stick, actually, you know what? It's going to... See this thing. Right... This thing right here. First time I saw this, I saw it in the, in, in the, like, out in the distance like this when I heard it. Oh! Why does that tickle so much? Oh! I think it's because of my ulcer. I hate ulcers. Anyway, look at these guys. So essentially, they're harmless. They're big flying world, uh, coral reefs, pretty much. So there's uh, some materials you can get on here. There, oh, ooh, oxygen. Also be be aware, it doesn't matter how much health you have. Uh, if you run out of oxygen, you'll just pass out. Um, so you can get some stuff you couldn't normally get, like, you know, break a barnacle. And this has silver ore. Oh! So we'd actually get um, that better CO2 tank, actually. So that's really useful. Um, but sometimes there's, like, tiger, uh, leopard things. Let's see if we can find one. One of the ones that'll shoot at us. Come here. Where you at? Yeah, I'm taking all your stuff. There's a rogue cradle, which isn't really useful for us as of yet. I thought, like, everyone had one. A mean little, uh, thing. I don't know. But, yeah, so you have these things. And, again, hold on. Let me do this. This is gonna, this is gonna look so stupid. But, I, like, it's, it's not that weird. I swear, okay? So, <laughs> oh, God, okay. So, if you take, if you take a pencil or a pen or whatever... It only, I guess it only really works if you have nose hair. Does everyone have nose hair? <laughs> that sounds like a stupid question. Do girls have nose hair? I'm sure they have nose hair. Anyway, 
take this, and you you don't touch your nose, right? You're not like sticking it, but like just enough to where it like it touches some of the nose hairs. Oh my! <laughs> uh, that's what I do in class to entertain myself. I know, I know. I'm a weirdo. So anyway, you got those weird, creepy looking things. Whew. And then you get deeper and deeper. But, on the flip side, the deeper you get, the more likely you'll find cool stuff. So that's a trade-off. But you'll see like that thing over there, that thing will attack. That's just a meanie. Yeah, and he just digs up sand and stuff. He's just there to cause trouble. And actually, that looks like, oh jeez, oh jeez, do you see me? No you don't, no you don't. Chill, chill fam. I want an, is that one of the life pods or something? Should, oh jeez, there's so many of them around here. Passing 100 meters. Oh yeah, and when you get so deep, oh jeez, yeah, you're you lose more oxygen faster. Open data box. Great, great. Ultra glide fence. Oh wow, that's really handy. Can I can I pick that up? Can I pick that up? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh jeez, we're gonna die, aren't we? Oh no. Oh, I can see it. Just a little further. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Oh my god, am I? Is this? Is this? Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're gonna, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. I'm right there. I sw- oh. Uh, wow. Yes, we made it. That is literally as close as you can cut it. So, because we found that, um, like we found some blueprints there. I, I don't know where the fins thing is. I'm sure it's somewhere. Um, oh, Ultra Guide Flins. So, we need the already pre-existing fence, some more silicone rubber, and some lithium. But now, because we have silver ore, if we got some more quartz, and a standard O2 tank, which I, which I have, I don't know why it says I don't, um, we can make a high capacity one, which lets us breathe even more air. And so again, I, it's really not that hard to get the survival symptoms. You've seen me, I've, I've got most of them. And then at that point, it's all about exploration, and decide what you want to do there. Again, I won't say what exactly you'll find, but go towards those smoke clouds. I think there's three of them, maybe four of them in the game. Some of them, like you'll just you'll just be swimming, and then an island appears, and you're like, "Whoa, what the heck?" So that's a pretty cool experience. And we slowly see. I like I can do this, but this is kind of creepy. I kind of almost want, like, I almost don't want to know if I'm going to die, kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they're behind me, so what? Out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. And I realize, Mr. Fruit, you're playing this game, we want to see what it looks like. My bad. I guess I'll thuck it up for you. Um, one thing to note is I'm pretty sure your life pod, this thing, um, like, drifts until you repair it, and then it, and then it like, gets more power and then it'll stay still. But that's one thing you want to do is uh, eventually probably repair it. I mean, if that's something you want to do. Um, but then you make more stuff, and that's essentially the game. It's a fun survival game. I really like it if you like ocean stuff. There's tons of creatures to explore and figure out and sometimes fight. It's not there's not Combat isn't really a thing, though. Right? It's it's not a focus of the game. Pretty sure you can get a few things, but like for the most of it, it's, it's pretty much just knife. I don't know if you can get like a spear gun or anything. I haven't got one myself, so I guess I'm a, a bad person to ask. I'm sure you probably could, who knows. There's alien technology and all this kind of stuff. It's pretty rad! So, that was just uh, my overview of Subnautica with the limited amount of knowledge I have. I, ha I have played it on my own. I really like it. It's fun. Terrifying, but fun. Like, those are the worst kind of games. Like, they weren't inherently made to be scary, but they scare me. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just hands up if you hate the open water. I see you. Okay, there's a few. Okay, I'm not alone. I'm, I'm not alone. Good. Well, with that said, hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't think we're gonna do a series because it'd be so long form, and it would only be on my second channel. And I, I had fun playing through it on my own, but I don't know if we make a, a series. Plus, we got God of War going on right now on the second channel, and probably Moonlighter in a couple weeks when that releases. Super pumped for that. Or maybe I'll even do that on the main channel. I don't really know. With that said, though, have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell. I just burped. Like, like, it's like a silent burp. I'm sorry.